We are so thrilled to be in our new space and to have a space that was designed specifically for us and our programs has just been amazing. So the staff and I are excited every day when we come to work. Well, the heart of community education is the people. It originally started with the state wanting to help the community have access to its school buildings during off hours because, you know, taxpayers paid for the buildings, but then they were sitting empty, you know, lots of evenings and weekends. And so it originally started as just that small piece of kind of having enrichment classes and things in the buildings during off hours. But it has grown over time to include um, the school readiness component or preschool programming. We have adult education for people who want to get ready for the GED test, learn how to speak English, prepare for the citizenship exam, um, do workforce readiness skills, all kinds of things. And uh, yeah, we just have a wide range of opportunities, So, but it's about the people. We want to serve the people of our community one of the things that comes to mind is that we have the preschool classrooms here and all of our preschool classrooms have bathrooms inside the classroom so that's really nice for our teachers and staff and the children and also we have a child care room that we use when adults come for uh, adult education classes and that has a restroom inside the classroom and uh, we have wonderful technology resources here that we uh, did not have at our previous location. So we're very grateful for the many opportunities here. So we have the, also here in our building the Nobles County Integration Collaborative. So they're working on academic achievement and integration of the many cultures that we have here in our community. And they also serve six other or six school districts here in the Nobles County area. So um, we don't just touch the people in Worthington itself, but we, we have uh, students from all over the area. So today we are having a ribbon cutting and open house. So at four o'clock is when it starts and we will have the ambassadors from Forward Worthington here to uh, do the ribbon cutting. There'll be a few words shared by Joel Lorenz, the school board chairperson. And uh, we have our celebration chorus coming. That's an after school group that community education uh, sponsors. And so we're excited to have them come and sing for us. And then we'll have uh, time for tours so people can look around the building and staff will be here to answer questions. And our indoor playground will be open. So if there are kids here, they'll have the opportunity to play in our play space. So that's one of the highlights of our building too, something that of course we didn't have at the previous location and the students who come here are just loving it. So. Well, we're very grateful for the school leaders who um, valued our programming enough to make a building a reality. It's been a long time in coming and Community Ed has had several homes over the years. And so for them to think that the program is worthwhile enough to have a building specifically for us that's designed for our needs just really makes us feel great. I mean, appreciated. And what we do is really to give back to the community and uh, help the people in our community be stronger, have their lives be enriched and so it's a win-win to have this facility and I'm very grateful to the people who've made it possible. We're so glad to have all of you with us. Uh, to start off our program today, we are going to have Joel Lorenz, our school board chairperson, say a few words. Thank you very much for being here at this very exciting day. To Welcome to Open House to our new building. It's been a long time coming, so. First of all, I'd like to introduce our board members. And they are responsible for making this decision, which took us many years to arrive at. But I want to introduce the board members that are here and recognize the ones who aren't also. Uh, first is Lori Dudley. <laughs> Dean Schneider. Here, but she's a current board member. And for Aaron, also. 
also. And Matt Wigman was just appointed to the board. He's, I don't see Matt here, but he was just newly appointed to the board, taking the former board members here. Brad Schaefer, please stand. <laughs> Brad was part of the decision making process and he just recently went off the board. And also Mike Harberts was a part of the decision making process also and he's not here, I don't believe. And Lyndon Olson also was part of the decision making process. These board members all contributed to the conclusion that we made to build this building here at this location. It's been a very exciting time. A few other comments. The building started, construction started in October of 2021. And I've been asked what size it is, how many square foot. There's 45,235 square feet in this facility. Um, about 20 years ago, we moved from the Prairie Lakes, well, the Noble Streets, where the community community was, where the community education building was used at, out on Noble Street. We moved into the West Building after we moved into the new Prairie, Prairie Building that was built and we moved into that in 2001. So it's been about 20 years in the making and we've had many decisions, discussions, a lot of uh, board input and community input and staff input over all those years. But we finally got here, so we're very happy about that. Um, I'd like to, like to recognize um, a few people here, ICS, ICS construction managers who are in charge of the project. Are any of those representatives here? Thank you for being here. <laughs> very good job, well, very, very good job. Also, we have world architects and engineers. I know Sal is here. Designing and meeting with staff, and they had a committee that also helped decide how to put this building together. So it was very well done, and thank you very much. And also, Hunga Dorn Construction was a general contractor who had the general contractor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was yeah, they also did the intermediate school, so they've been a, a very good contractor for us. Thank you very much. Special thank yous to our superintendent John Langard. <laughs> He's done a lot of work with all these building projects the last couple of years. And also our director of operations, David Skoll. <laughs> David's done a tremendous job keeping track of everybody and keeping them on task. He spent a lot of time on it, so we thank Dave very much for that. Also, the Director of Community Education Director is Sharon Johnson. <laughs> She's had a lot of great input and done a great job of helping get the building up and running. The first day of classes, I believe, was February 5th, no, February 13th. So it's just been going a few weeks. So very exciting day when they moved in here. So. And also a big thank you to all staff members of Community Education. It's been a long time coming. We're sorry it took so long to get you a new building, but we finally got here and we're looking for many good years to come using this facility. So thank you all very much. At this time, we are going to have a couple of songs shared with us by the Celebration Chorus. And they are one of the programs that uh, community education sponsors and their families sign them up to participate in the program and they meet on Tuesdays after school. So it's really exciting for us to have them here to sing today. So Deborah Moe is their instructor, Linda Van Weston is their accompanist, and welcome all of you students. Thanks for being here.
So the last piece actually was a piece that had different words and we rewrote it so that it would fit for the opening today and for the ribbon cutting. So congratulations on your new place and your new start. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. One, two, three.